Hey guys, it's Troy here, and you know, I told you just after I went to the Raleigh Pen Show that I was going to have a giveaway for you from Heinz Pens. Well, it's time. Um, I've been teasing it a little bit, and I've been giving you hints, whether you know it or not, here just recently. Uh, but, you know, I've gotten to know Jim over the past several years, and uh, we've developed a really good relationship. I like Jim a lot. I see him in person two to three times a year usually, and uh, we keep in touch online as well, and in some Zoom calls that we get together with some other pen friends. And, uh, you know, Jim's always been very good to us in my family, and we probably have eight or nine now Heinz pens uh, that are in our collection throughout our family. Matthew is a really big fan of Heinz pens. As a matter of fact, if he ever really gets to it, I've been trying to convince him to review the pen that he got at the Raleigh Pen Show, uh, and uh, you know he's just kind of shy about it. But today, I wanted to share with you a brand new pen. I say new because it's probably the newest model that Jim's put out, uh, and it's the Erst, E-R-S-T-E. Erst means first in German, and that is Jim's ancestry. Now, I'm going to read to you exactly what Jim says on his website about the Erst pen. Introducing our first new pen model in a while. The Erst, which means first in German, was designed as an entry-level gateway to custom pens. One of the biggest objections we get to custom pens is their size. Most consider them too big. Now, for me, that's not a problem. I like bigger pens. Um, I'll show you um, how the Erst does compare to uh, some of Jim's other custom pens that are full size. Okay, um, But here we go. We started with an idea. Keep the size in the general range of a Pelican M205 or Platinum 3776. I think we succeeded. Even at this size, this pen will accept the number 6 nib. Okay, I've got to pause right there. All right, I don't have a Pelican M205, but I do have the Pelican M200, uh, which I believe the 205 is just a variant of the 200. So I'll show you what that looks like. I used to have a 3776, but I gifted it to a family member, so I don't have one of those. But I also have uh, an M120. I'll show you that and, and some other pens as to how that uh, the Erst stacks up size-wise. The pen can be made with or without a clip, and it can be made in any resin we offer. The introductory pens were all made in solid colors. And for the most part, all the pens you're going to see at pen shows. And I'll put up a little video here that was taken at the last pen show they were at, I believe, in Miami. Uh, and you can see what some of those look like. And they're typically pastel colors. And I'll show you on their website. Uh, you kind of have to search for E-R-S-T-E when you go to their website to see their Erst line. Um, and uh, I have a pen that Jim gave me specifically for the purposes of giving you. And we will be doing the giveaway in this video. So, you need to pay attention towards the end of this video when I explain to you how you can get your opportunity to win a custom-made Jim Hines Erst. E-R-S-T-E. And I've got the plum version, all right? So, when you get a pen from Jim, uh, Jim has some customized logoed um, sleeves and boxes. And this is how I can tell, you know, and, and date some of the, the pens that I found. Not too long ago, I picked up a Jim Hines pen that was sold by a third-party retailer uh, that was used. And I could tell it was one of the older models because he had a metal box. But Jim has got these nice vinyl boxes right here that you will find with most of his modern uh, or more recent uh, pen sales. And it's got a magnetic closure on it. All right, so you open it up. And sitting in here is the pen I've been telling you about that I showed it to you in a previous video um, when I did the recap of my Raleigh Pen Show uh, visit and when Jim gave me this particular pen. So... Here you go. This is the Erst. And this is in the plum, according to Jim. So he's got like a plum and a lavender, and he's got a few other colors. I'll put all those up here on the screens directly from their website so you can see the solid colors uh, that Jim has. And like they said, they can make this model out of any resin that they have available. For instance, Matthew just really enjoyed the lipstick and leather. And that's the pen I showed in our Raleigh pen haul video that I'm trying to convince him to kind of step out of his 
comfort zone a little bit and do his own review, but he doesn't want to do it as a solo, and okay, fine. But I've had a lot of others. That's why I've been putting out a bunch of videos up to this, okay? So, this is the pen I'm going to review. So, let's talk about the size and the shape of the Erst. So, here it is, and I can tell you, this is not a heavy pen. So, if you don't like heavy pens, this is only about a half an ounce. And I'm, I'm going to give you some statistics on this particular pen, uh, but it's not big, it's not really small either. It's kind of in between. Uh, and you've got here, it's, it's this the size of the L12 is the model that he calls it. And I'm trying to remember that uh, I think one number in his catalog meant the length and another one meant the girth, as I recall. I'll have to touch base with Jim again on that. I'm just going from memory on that. Uh, but here, on the cap, th this one obviously is a clipless version. All right? And Jim did say on their website that you can get it with or without a clip. But uh, here you've got a nice beveled top for the finial, and you've got pretty much a flat there. And then you've got a cap that comes all the way down and meets. It's not a seamless uh, cut right here. So the cap is just a hair broader uh, than the barrel. And the barrel comes and it does taper down somewhat down towards the end where you've got a you know a nice little beveled off uh, bottom and it's a flat surface there. It is a screw top and here we are apart. It's all acrylic and if you look at this baby here he's got a number six Yovo nib in it. One of the things about this particular nib is it is nothing fancy, it's nothing special uh, it doesn't have the Heinz logo on it. This particular nib is a fine nib, so that's what Jim gave me. He, he figured that would be the best one to give away, it would be a fine nib. All of Jim's pens are cartridge converter, so let's go ahead and open that up. And here we've got a nice converter, a Schmidt style converter, that Jim includes with all of his pens. So let's go ahead and turn that back up. Alright, holding it. Now, I told you this is not a large pen, but it's not a small pen either. It actually fits fairly comfortable in my hand. I've got a fairly decent sized hand, and I like oversized pens as a result. And quite honestly, I don't like smaller and narrower pens, but I take them for what they are, because I enjoy the, the learning experience and I enjoy <coughs> the individual writing experience of the designs. Let's post this baby, and yes, you can post it, and it is firm. I'll give you the dimensions on that. It does make that good and long, though. It's probably a little longer than I like, and it's a little longer than it's comfortable probably to write with, and it does back weight it, because that is a good size cap when you compare it to the size of the body. Looking at Jim's acrylic that he used here, you can see that it's got some sparkle in that resin. Now, I don't know if, how well you can see that, but I don't know if that's a diamond cast or what. Uh, but you do see some nice little sparkles throughout that resin. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I am going to go ahead and I'm going to give you some statistics on the Erst, the L12 Erst, uh, and then we're going to do a writing sample. I'm going to tell you what I like about it. I'm going to tell you uh, some recommendations, and what I'm going to do is then I'm going to tell you how to enter the contest to win your very own Erst. This very pen, as a matter of fact. The very one I have in my hand. Now, Jim is going to be at the DC Pen Show coming up. It starts a week, in one week. And I'm going to be there opening day. And I'm going to be there with my entire family. I'm going to give probably until after the DC Show for you to be able to win this. So stay tuned. Here comes some details and here comes how to win it. Just doing the size comparison, just with other Jim Hines models, um, these are just some of the ones that we've got. Taking a look, two of these actually belong to my son Matthew. I had just called him into the room and asked him to bring me uh, some, well, at least one of his pens, and he brought me two. Um, and uh, 
This is one of Matthews right here that he got last year at the DC Pen Show, and it's a, you know it's a beautiful blue uh, acrylic, and I'm trying to remember the name of this one. I'd have to pull up his spreadsheet to see what they called this one. I've got this one here. This was mine, and this is the first Jim Hines pen I ever bought. It's you can see it's oversized compared to the Erst over here, um, and this is a beautiful acrylic, and it's called the Beacon model. I got mine with a clip, and uh, Matthew, my son, has a uh, beacon of his own, only it's in a smaller size without a clip clip and he paid for that with his own money and this is the one I mentioned earlier the lipstick and leather you can see with the red and the uh, the black and the silver exactly why he called it or whoever made the acrylic called it the lipstick and leather uh, acrylic now one of the things Jim does buy rod stock from other suppliers but one of the neat things about Jim is he pours his own acrylics too. And his significant other is getting really, really good and is making a business out of pouring acrylics. And uh, you're going to see a lot more of some Heinz Pens acrylics, or at least their division, uh, that are going to be coming out soon. And uh, hopefully I didn't tell too much that I shouldn't be telling. But here is the Erst by comparison. So let's go ahead and move these uh, other Heinz pens out of the way. We do have others, I'm just not going to whip them out right now. Uh, but let's go ahead and compare to some others. Now, they mentioned on their website that it was comparable to about the M205 Pelican. This is the M200. So you can see it's actually a little bit bigger uh, than uh, the, the M200. Here's the M120 uh, that I've got. That came out several years ago as a re-release. And let's put beside it, just for comparison, because it is required by international treaty, all pen uh, videos must contain a Pilot Metropolitan. So there you go. So there's a size comparison of the Erst. And this is going to have the biggest nib by far of all of them, uh, because this is going to have actually a number six Yovo nib uh, right in this particular pen. And since I mentioned the nib, here is a comparison of the nibs. So the Pilot Metropolitan, the Erst, the M200 Pelican, and the M120. So you can see that uh, number six Yovo nib certainly stands out. So if you like a little bigger nib, if you like a number six uh, Yovo, there you go. And that's how that nib stacks up some to some of the others. And I, of course, since I mentioned that uh, Pelican, I certainly wanted to bring that out. All right, so for this particular Erst, one of the things I thought would go well, would pair well nicely with this particular plum color, was going to be like a Pelican 4001 Violet. and uh, But then yeah, I pull it out, I was like, wait a minute, I can't get any ink. There's so little ink left in this bottle, I was not able to fill it. Even trying to put it into an ink miser, I wouldn't get anything out of it. So there's just a little bit, a tiny bit sloshing in there, and I didn't feel like using a uh, syringe uh, to pull it out, so... This little particular bottle, right there into the trash can. So instead, I went out and I got my bottle of Waterman with its tender purple. I figured, all right, it's still uh, kind of a violet-looking thing, um, and it'll go ahead and pair nicely, I think, with the Erst. So, about the Erst, one, two, and just, uh, just a little over two full turns in order to get that cap off. So let's go ahead and do some writing. So this is a Heinz Pens Erst. One of the things I notice, all right, uh, it, this, albeit it, it is a little smaller than some of the other pens that I'm used to, because I'm used to writing with a Heinz oversized acrylic uh, pen, um, and. This one definitely is not oversized, but it's not really small. It's it's It looks deceptively small when you put it next to some other pens, but it actually fits pretty well in my hand, surprisingly so. Now, surprisingly too, uh, when I talk about Pelican pens, that 200 is a little small for me. Well, I went ahead and got the 1000 model, and eh, it's a little big for me, believe it or not. And 800, I thought that would be it. Nope, 600 for me was the perfect size of that. So this actually is, is a better size for me than it looks. I thought the 600, uh, the M600 would be too small for me in a Pelican, but I got my wife one, I tried it, and I was like, I kind of like that. So I ended up getting my own. And uh, this is deceptively small when you see it, but it's really deceptively large or larger uh, when you go to pull it out. And it's a lot more comfortable in my hand than I thought it was going to be. Almost makes me want to keep it, but 
Nay, nay, I shall not keep this particular pen. I shall give it away as I was entrusted to do. So, this happens to be the Erst. This particular color is the plum. It has a fine Yovo nib. And it is available in various colors. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just on their website, they list uh, six different colors. Base colors. But, like the website said, they can make it in any acrylic that you want. But the ones that you're going to find that are pre-made and ready to go um, at a pen show are probably going to be the, you know, the single uh, color here. This particular nib actually writes well and smooth. I am not a fine nib lover, but this one does well. It is a Yovo nib, so what can I tell you? I mean, a lot of people have Yovo nibs. A lot of manufacturers and a lot of uh, custom makers are either going to have Bach or Yovo, the two big manufacturers of nibs in the game. So, uh, for Western style nibs especially, obviously. But this particular nib actually does very, very well for a fine nib. I would say that this is a really good writing pen. I'm happy with it. I like how it fits in my hand. I wish I would have been able to, um, to have you know, weaseled Jim out of another one. But, hey, you know, I'm going to see him in D.C., so just maybe I'll see about buying one for myself. All right, so what's the bottom line? Look, here's the difference between my first Jim Hines pen that I had in my possession and the last Jim Hines pen in my possession, but not for long. So, I've been telling you that we're going to give this pen away to one of you lucky viewers. Here's what we're going to do and what I have been doing, because this took a little bit of planning on my part. Um, if you've been following my videos anytime recently, you may or may not have seen something just a little bit different, a little something stuck into my videos. Here's what I've been doing. Knowing that this was coming after the Raleigh Pen Show, um, I produced a string of videos and I've stuck in a little something of a clue. Do you like word puzzles? I hope so. Because if you do, this is going to require a little bit of work, because I'm not going to just give this to anybody. And, you know, it's a, like a $160 pen. You're going to have to work for it. So, in my last however many videos, I'm not going to tell you how many, by the way, um, what, I, what you're going to need to do is look for the clue that I put in each of those videos. It's going to be real obvious when you see it, okay? So, um, but if you like word puzzles in each of the videos is going to be a letter. And what you need to do is harvest those letters from each of those videos and they're going to be jumbled. So you need to take those letters and you need to spell out something. It's going to be simpler than you think. I'm telling you, don't be so so hesitant, um, I'm serious. You look over my videos, you find the letter, you take all the letters, you unscramble the word or words. I'm not gonna tell you, word or words. That's for you to figure out. And then, once you've got it figured out, you email me. Here's my email right here, troy at troylaplant.com. Or, you can go to my website, troylaplant.com and at the bottom of that page there's an email form for submission where you can put your answer in that and send it to me that way and I'm gonna take all the correct answers that I get and then I'm gonna choose one of you at random and you will get this Jim Hines Erst. I'm gonna clean it up before I send it to you because obviously I have it inked up right now unless of course you want to keep the ink that's in it I don't care but um, I am going to uh, send this to somebody at my own expense. I'm not going to ask for your credit card information or a PayPal donation in order to cover shipping and handling. Nay, nay! I will send it to you at my own expense and at Jim's expense for the pen itself. So, I want to say thanks to Jim Hines. Guys, I'm telling you straight up, Jim has treated me well and treated my son very well over the years. He's a good guy to deal with. He does good work. 
and I've watched his work progressively get better and better as the years go by. And his partner, Francisco, I enjoy dealing with him. Hey, they both have um, some of my shirts. I'm not wearing the my Heinz shirt. I actually thought about it, but I just, not when I came to sit down, I was like, uh, oh, you know, I could have put on my Heinz shirt. Um, but I didn't, uh, because I just came back from dinner with my two sons um, while my wife is at Bible study. So, anyway. There is your task. I'm not going to make it easy on you, I admit, but it was planned that way in order to get a good Jim Hines pen in your hand. And if you want it, um, then you're going to have to do just a little bit of work. So look over my videos. Get the letters. They're all going to be scrambled. Unscramble them. Email me the answer, and I will pick the, the winner at random, and you stand a pretty doggone good chance because I guarantee not everybody's going to put in the work or want to put in the work, and not everybody's going to get the answer correct, although I don't see how you couldn't. <laughs> If you've been listening to anything that's been coming out of my mouth this whole video, but uh, get that to me. I'm going to give you some rules here in just a, just a moment, uh, since I like to put out some official rules just to, you know, cover our backside on it. Uh, but also, um, if you come out to the DC Pen Show, which is going to be next week, now we're talking um, August 4th through the 7th, look for me look for my family. We'll be walking around. We'll probably all have matching shirts on while we're walking around. Uh, drop by the Heinz table. Take a look at his pens. Look at the Erst. Pick it up. Touch it. Feel it. Enjoy it. And don't refrain from buying it just because you could win one. Um, you know, I wouldn't take my chances that way, um, but I would definitely stop by and see about getting an Erst pen or any of the other models that Jim has. In the video that I've got, the real quick one, showed you some of those. I encourage you strongly. Now, if you want to order online, go to HeinzPens.com. Use discount code TROY, T-R-O-Y, and you can get 15% off your purchase at Heinz Pens, because Jim has been very generous about that. Um, I've sent a lot of business his way. Uh, he's uh, let me know that, oh, hey, some of you guys are actually buying with my discount code, 15% off. I mean, come on. Um, so, not bad. That's better than I get on some of the other sites that I go to that I've given enough business to help put their children through college, if you get what I'm saying. So he gives 15% off to you. Discount code Troy. There you go. The Erst. First, be the Erst to email me the clue, and the answers to the clues that I've been putting out. I hope to see you at the DC Pen Show. Go enjoy talking to Jim. I plan on being there, hanging out with Jim some. And uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully you can win this very pen.